Low Goat Lovers, Crystal here with Blue Cactus Dairy Goats, and we have six young bucklings back here that are all around four months old, and it is time to get them banded. So for those of you wondering what banding is, it is simply a method that is used. It's low cost, it's bloodless, um, a form of castration. So in other words, we're going to make these bucklings into weathers so that they are unable to breed and produce. For those of you who are new to the channel, we breed Nigerian Dwarf Dairy Goats for show. Assuming we're ever allowed to have shows again, um, but we always sell more does than bucks. And as our herd keeps growing, we are always going to have more bucks that don't sell. You can only sell so many weathers in your area as a pet or a companion. Food security is very important to our family. We want to know where our food came from, and given everything that's happened in the last few months, uh, homesteading is now more important than ever. So having these weathers around to harvest in the future is just a fortunate byproduct of breeding show goats. So the tools required for this job are very minimal. Um, if you have a handy little brave helper, that's always going to help somebody to hold the goat for you. Um, you're going to have to have these, which are just castration banding tools. You're going to have to have these heavy, heavy duty rubber bands. Do not try to use a regular rubber band. It is not going to work. These rubber bands are made specifically for banding. So, of course you're going to need some rubbing alcohol to clean the area where the band is going to go, and some cotton balls. And that's literally all you need. So, I'll have these supplies in the description below. Alright, so here we got little dude number one. And if you got somebody to hold them, this is kind of how you'd hold them so that you can actually have access to the testicles. Um, and for starters, you're going to clean the area with alcohol and a cotton ball very well. I'm just going to get around the base where the band is actually going to go. Now we got our tools and we have the little rubber band. You just put on the end here and then it's on there so that when you open it up you can pull the testicles through. Now you want to make sure that the testicles are all the way down and you are not going, you're going to have that band below these teeth. You don't want it above. Let's make sure both are pulled down. Open that up. Put it on the end. At this age, you might have to get one in at a time. It's all right, buddy. And then focus, pay attention where that is. Again, both teats are out of it, both testicles are pulled down. I'm going to release. I do not let go all the way. At this point, we're going to pull that down off of the pliers. That one's being stubborn. And there we go. So the testicles are all the way down underneath that band and the teats are out of it. And you get as close to the body as possible. Just like that. So if you do it right, they shouldn't be screaming their heads off in pain or anything like that. If you can tell, he's not dying or anything like that. So that's what they should look like after you just did that. All right, so again, got Mr. Little Dude number two here, but make sure cleaning the area, the base where the band is gonna go. Alcohol really well. All right, dude. You're okay. 
All right. All right, guys, so I'm gonna open the tool. The last time, I may have goofed, I did it this way. It works that way, but it's meant to be this way. It's the kind of thing you only do once a year. So anyway, let's get this. Try to pull one in. It's all right, dude. There, quit moving. Ah, there we go. Both testicles all the way down. Teats above the band. Lightly let go. Do not let all the way go. Push the band off. And there you go. That's how it should look. Both teats above the band, testicles all the way down, and this is up to the body, as close as you can get. Again, temperament. He doesn't want to be held. He obviously didn't like his testicles squeezed through that small area, but he's not in excruciating pain. Huh. All good. All right. Stay still. Stay still. Something very important to remember, guys, is to make sure they are up to date on their tetanus shot. Tetanus is a bacteria that is found in the soil. And so as these testicles start to separate, it's kind of, it's an open wound around. And if they lay in the soil, they could be susceptible to tetanus. So all of our goats are up to date on tetanus, so just make sure yours are. Oh, dude. Always verify, look all the way around. Make sure it looks good. We're good. The common question we get is how long should you leave the band on? Don't ever take this band off. These testicles are going to mummify and they will actually fall off on their own slowly. So we'll show you what that looks like when you find them in, in the ground or in the pen or whatever, but do not remove the band. It is going to stay there until the testicles mummify and fall off. All good. Looks good, dude. So the proper age that you're gonna wanna band a little buckling is going to be no earlier than eight weeks old. And the reason you don't wanna do it too young is because their urethra has not developed enough. So their urethra is pretty much their urine canal, if you will. And if you cut that off or make it smaller than it should be where you don't let it fully develop, then they can suffer from urinary, urinary calculi, which is just urinary stones, and it can actually kill a weather. So not before eight weeks, um, ideally 12 to 16 weeks. So all of ours are right around 16 weeks. Um, you just, their, their urethra is really developed. So it's a really good age to actually get it done. Hold still, mister. Oh. <laughs> oh, Dan. Good boy. All right, this is the last little dude we got, and he is definitely the biggest. 
and he's not the friendliest weather we have either. So he's a little mad. Hold on, dude. There we go. You're fine. There we go. Looks good all the way around. Teeth above the band. Band to the body. Good to go. So what's happening at this point with the band on is the circulation is getting cut off to his testicles. Um, so after about four, four to eight weeks, they will actually start separating from his body and they will fall off this mummified hard testicle. So hard as a rock. Um, do not remove the band again. That is the whole point of this, the banding of it. Um, keep a close eye on it. If it, once it starts separating from the body, you're going to make sure just to spray some blue coat on it. After a couple hours, they're not going to be as uncomfortable because that area will start becoming numb. So they are getting a little uncomfortable in there, they're getting a little angry, they know something's on them. Um, but again, after a couple hours, they calm right down. So that's what happens. So I just want to give you guys a close up of the fact that the rubber band is still attached to these testicles here. And they just fall off of the body. If you see this one, the rubber band isn't green so much anymore. These are old and mummified, but... And again, they just fall. All right, so here soon, these goats are gonna be back out to pasture, uh, spend the rest of their days browsing and helping keep the yard safe from any potential wildfires, as well as provide a very healthy um, food and some towel for the family. So thank you guys so much for watching. See you again soon.